Good afternoon, Bluebirds. I am Nathan with Anna Lucy, delivering your announcements. Happy birthday to Ariana Gutierrez, Sarah Price, and Liam Reed. Congrats to the girls' cross-country team for their performance on Saturday at the Cincinnati St. Xavier Invitational. Three middle school students ran very well. Ruby Smith and Lily Hoffmeister both finished as top five runners for the Bluebirds in the varsity race and ran their fastest times of the season. In junior varsity race, seventh grader Lily Bergen led the birds to, with their best time of the season. Sam Hopper and John Lasky also ran well in the boys race. Sam was the team's second runner and ran a season best time. Signups for basketball tryouts are in Mr. Lenz's room, room 302, after school today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Please stop by and sign up if you plan on trying out this year. Look ahead to tomorrow. Drama Club will, not, will be meeting in the pack, not the black box, on Tuesday this week. In addition, the 6th and 7th grade book club will be having their final meeting for this session tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. in the broadcasting room. The Student Technology Leadership Program, more commonly known as SDLP, will begin tomorrow after school. Anyone interested in being a member simply needs to go to the art room Tuesday after school. SDLP is truly a club for anyone. Everyone has something to contribute from recording music to editing photographs to programming microcontrollers. People currently have more options available today than any time in history to create, communicate ideas, and solve issues. The SDLP is a club SDL centered around solving school and community needs util utilizing technology. Opportunities to work both independently and in groups will be available. Follow a passion, acquire new skills, and share old ones as we work through student-driven projects. There is a one-time fee of $20 to join STLP to cover the cost of supplies. You may have seen images on our TVs and some signs around the school encouraging you to celebrate National Hispanic Month. What exactly is National Hispanic Month, and how can you celebrate it? Let's go to the video to learn more. Lately around school, you may have been seeing things such as posters, hearing announcements, seeing facts and pictures and other things displayed on the TVs in the hall, or seeing Schoology posts about something called National Hispanic Month. But what is National Hispanic Month? Well, it's a celebration of Hispanic culture and heritage. It was made in 1968 and signed into law by Lyndon B. Johnson. What makes someone Hispanic? Someone who is Hispanic is someone of Spanish origins and of Spanish influence and culture. According to Pew Research Center, 58 million Americans identified as Hispanic in 2016. Not only that, but 22 other countries and many other regions have Spanish as their official language or second language or have Spanish influence. So this month, try Spanish food or drink, learn a few words in Spanish, listen to some Spanish music. But most importantly, celebrate the diversity in our communities. Challenge yourself to do something to celebrate this month and to recognize the United States' diverse population of citizens. For lunch today, we will be having Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy with steamed corn. The alternate is chicken nuggets. For lunch tomorrow, we will be having bluebird-style Chick-fil-A, curly fries, and vegetable medley. The alternate is hamburgers. Remember, you can always make yourself a salad or add fresh fruit to your lunch. And now for today's quote of the day. Today's quote is, you have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days of your life. Have a great rest of your day, Bluebirds.